Okay. Hello, my name is Gabriel, and I'm here to talk about the how clothes can affect our behavior. You all must be wondering why am I wearing this white lab coat? The, thing, the, question, the answer is that this simple coat used by a doctor can increase my perception skills. So if I'm going to take a test, please you don't forget the coat. The responsible for my crazy sayings is, is the Net Northwestern University. They call it enclosed cognition. They put 99 students in two different rooms. A half of them did make this test, and the other half that made the same test but without the coat. So the right answer is purple and not red. The right answer is green and not purple. The color in the word is the right answer. The word itself is the wrong answer. So you get some more questions right the doctor wants because the perception skills are increased. They repeated the test again, but now with 58 different students. And half of them were the white, the white lab coat, and the other half were painter small. So you guess who did write more questions right again in the perception skills? The doctor ones. The painter ones did not show results at all. It showed results in a different test, in the creative test. But it's not what we are talking about here. I'm going to take the... That's enough, right? <laughs> And I'm going to talk about Karen Pine. She's the co-author of the book, Flex, Do Something Different. And she's also the professor of psychology school at the Hertfordshire. I can bite my tongue with that. And she led two studies. Then I found the most interesting ones. The first one is if you are having a bad day, you should choose clothes that remind you of happiness and colorful clothes. Clothes that should remind you of birthdays, of dinners with friends, of weekends, why not? And through the day, these clothes are going to make you feel better with yourself, and you're going to be, be happy during the day. She also found out that jeans, jeans pants, are associated with depression, mainly in women. So of course, depression is a disease, and it's not blah, 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 but jeans can help you to remain depressed, or get easily depressed. I'm going to use myself as an example now. There are those days that I wake up as everybody, and all we want to do is to lay in bed all day, right, in a dark room. And in those days, I just want to put my black clothes, my sweatpants, comfortable ones, dark t-shirt, dark green, dark blue, because I really don't care. I really don't care if I'm going to walk out with my crush. I just want to be playing in bed. <laughs> and I can't. Can you? No, no one can. can Because if I'm doing that, I'm going to be a failure, and I'm going to be stuck at my parents' house. And Sophia's talk about insecurity, so I'm not talking about it right now. But there are also those days that I wake up and all I can think about is how could God create this amazing world in six days and have a day to rest and I can even decide my course to college. <laughs> but in those days that I wake up feeling so good, I just want to put my favorite clothes, my clothes with orange, dark, light green, light blue, yellow, red. I don't wear yellow. <laughs> I'm sorry, neither man should, please. And I talk so much about how clothes affect our behavior in ourselves. But how about how clothes affect our behavior with others in, in different environments? So did you know, and I don't want anyone looking at me with ugly faces, but did you know that we, and when I say we, I mean all of us, treat with, treat with more respect people that wear designer labels. And we are more likely to give them money than to poor people. Yeah. <laughs> so we want, you can treat with more respect people that wear Chanel, Lacoste, Lamborghini, Locuta, than people that wear handed in Seattle. And we really don't know why, but it's proved. Or, for example, that women that wear jumpsuits, that wear suit, women's suit or short hair, are more likely to get hired or promoted than women that wear dresses and long hair. Sexist work, right? So I'm going to just give you some tips, because my focus is how close affects yourself and how your behavior. So some quick tips here. The first one, is that you, if you work in a creative industry, you should forget the black dress, you should forget the suit, you should focus on daring outfits. Because yeah. daring outfits can... Sorry. Because daring outfits can attract good attention. No one wants bad attention, but good are always welcome. Another, another tip is that if you want to look trustworthy and serious, you should take back the suit and take back the dress. Mm -hmm. Because simple and dark clothes makes you look more trustworthy. Now I'm going to talk about, and I think everyone's going to relate, about gym. 
everyone, I think everyone went to gym at least once. And the hardest part is not doing the exercise. The hardest part is going to the gym. <laughs> yes, I went to gym twice and I gave up twice. <laughs> but I found out my mistake. The mistake is that when you get home, you should put your gym clothes. Because the brain associated with doing exercise. And they, then you are not motivated to do it. So if you come home at noon and you want to go to the gym at 6 p.m., you should put the, clothes, the gym clothes. Because it doesn't matter, you're going to stay at home. So then you have a motivation. I live on one block away from the gym. <laughs> and it's to the dot com. And the least but not the, the last but not least is that in a survey around the world, the whole world, about women and how they feel more confident and the piece of clothes that makes them feel more confident with themselves and more comfortable was a black dress. So please, if you want to look good for yourself, for your friends, or just want to go out in the shopping, please don't forget that. Don't forget the black dress. <laughs> Thank you, and I'm going to take back my coat because tomorrow I have a shibola. You have to take, be prepared, right? <laughs>